Can I be a scientist? But can I still be me? What do you think? Definitely, I felt uh, I wanted to answer, yes, you can, yes, you can, yes, you can. Just go for it and uh, don't be afraid. I'm, I'm really convinced that the questions asked by Grace as well are being asked by most young scientists. Can I do this? And what am I capable of? What can I accomplish? There just isn't an awareness of you know, the kind of the plethora of, of careers and opportunities that exist in science, especially, you know, today, where it's not just like you become a bench scientist and wear a white lab coat and goggles. And that's still the perception. I do face that at some point when in the field, you, do, you don't see any woman from your, that look like me. And that makes you doubt whether that's okay to do if, if it's not the stereotype. You feel like you have to fit within the majority culture. You feel like you have to fit within whatever, you know, the science majority culture is, which is really, you know, white, white men. And then from that came, you know, the idea for more inclusion of everyone, actually, not just women. That's one of the exciting things I think about this this project is just sort of creating some new imagery. I mean, I think to become a successful scientist, one has to have an inner drive to really want that, right? And really have a passion for that and then not giving up on the goal. This notion of being more than one thing, that we don't have to fit a specific mold, that we, we don't have to just chase one dream, that we don't have to have just one quality of who we are, but we can be these multifaceted individuals that are chasing big dreams and thinking big, but also having fun and helping each other succeed along the way. And I think that's really powerful. We are now shaping the future and things are changing. It, it should be about collaboration, independent of hierarchies it should be about collaboration independent of your your gender your your origin right just about ideas and and figuring out how the universe works putting it out there and making it like a normal part of our conversation and recognizing that we have room to grow and we can do better not only the women in this case but also the men in the audience to see what kind of struggles they may have to face that's something that definitely you know also falls to people in, in positions of leadership is to make sure that those, you know, not only the loudest voices are heard, but all the voices are heard. Yeah, I mean, reaching out to younger generations and making them fascinated towards science and maybe taking away some anxieties that may else be connected. Diversity is way more than what you look like, right? It, it's about your values as well, um, where you come from, what your standpoint is in life all these different things that you bring to the table that make you different from the person next to you counts and it matters telling me that yes you can be part of this community even though you have all these questions in your mind and you feel insecure just go whatever you feel like uh, what your heart's tell you uh, letting your passion be the base for your confidence is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself as you are in search for your path, whether it be your career path or your, your personal journey. I didn't know I could work on space robots. I didn't know that was an actual thing or an actual career path. So that, that's why these kinds of opportunities are also really cool and important because it's showing young people all of the different things you can be. And sometimes it's just one conversation that you need to light a spark or to trigger your imagination and see all of the possibilities.